Transformer malfunctions has become a threatening issue over the past several decades, leading to long periods of power outages, huge financial losses, as well as customer dissatisfaction. In order to solve these problems in this demo, we are going to make use of MSET2 multivariate state estimation technique which predicts in real time what each process metric should be on the basis of learned correlations between the process variables of subsystems with large number of sensors. The biggest challenge that we faced was to get the right training data with the actual transformer anomalies baked into the data set. This is very important when we train our machine learning platform. It is imperative that we have the right training data with the anomalies for an anomaly detection algorithm to predict faults if there are any within the transformer. For anomaly detection, we make use of the historical time series data for the asset, in this case the transformer. Once we have trained on uh, the model on the historical time series data, we use uh, go to the surveillance data, which is the data up until the transformer has malfunctioned. We use Oracle Analytics Cloud to show the visualizations from the execution of the MSET2 algorithm on the transformer data set. Doing so, MSET2, which makes use of SPRT, which is a sequential probability ratio test, which is a statistical test to predict the onset of degradation, is used to show the alarms within the transformers if they occur. This SPRT is unique because it predicts the earliest mathematically possible time to afford any anomalies to occur within the transformers, which is better than the traditional methodologies which make use of thresholds. In this demo, we are going to make use of uh, transformer as an asset as well as use the existing transformer data set for running MSET2 on. In MSET2, we have to divide the data set into three parts, the training, testing, as well as validation data set. Here, I'm giving a value 0.5, which specifies that 50% of the data set is a testing data set. Of the remaining 50%, we specify 25% as the training, as well as 25% as the validation data sets. Training data set uh, is used for MSET, as well as validation data set is used for SPRT. Next, MSET2 requires you to specify a value which is at least 2x times the number of signals in the data set, which is 24, because there are 12 signals in the data set that I'm using right now. On running MSET, there are four uh, paths to the output. The first one is uh, visualization, which shows the actual signals versus the estimated signals and how close the estimated values are to the actual signals. The second one, second part of the graph is the residuals, which is the, nothing but the difference between the actual signal values versus the estimated signal values. The third and the mo is a more important one is the SPRT alarms, which shows if there are any alarms within the particular sensor. And the last and the final one is the cumulative of the actual signal values versus the estimated signal values over time. Also, in this case, you can uh, monitor the signal uh, by specifying the signal number that you want to monitor from the data set. And I'm going to try giving five, and you will get, see a similar output in this as well. Now that we have seen the demo, let's look at the data flow diagram or the notional architecture for this particular demo. As you can see, uh, here we are going to make use of the sensor data from the sensors, for example, the Violink sensors, and we use an in-house uh, Node.js application to pull the sensor data in real time into Oracle Internet of Things cloud service, which is then streamed into the Oracle database. So the, the data from the database is fed into uh, the MSET algorithm as well as SPRT algorithm to uh, check if there are any anomalies, if they are present, after execution of the MSET2 algorithm, the results or the visualizations are shown using Oracle Analytics Cloud, where we can uh, see the visualizations and also perform analytics on various aspects of the sensors uh, depending on the requirements. Oracle's MSET2 prognostic solution disambiguates between the sensor disturbances as well as the disturbances in the assets being monitored. It is no longer required to shut down or to replace a $1 million asset to later find out that it was just a $2 sensor drifting out of calibration. To know more, visit us at cloud.oracle.com. <laughs>